for more now on Mr. Trump's brand of diplomacy. I'm joined by Kurt Volker. He's former American ambassador uh, to NATO. I just want to pick up with you on Iran. Um, the president today saying that all options are on the table. We heard Sean Spicer yesterday, his press secretary, saying Iran has been put on, uh, Michael Flynn, actually, the NSA director, saying he's been put on uh, notice. What exactly does that mean? Well, I don't think we have any specifics as to what that means, and I think that's good. That's, it's good to have options out there. Uh, by saying all options, he's obviously holding the door open for the potential of a military option, which uh, even President Obama said was always a potential option, so we have that out there. And I think what you see with Iran is three things that are of concern. There's the nuclear issue. We have the agreement on that, but there's concern that Iran uh, will still try to develop a nuclear weapon. Then you have two other things. You have their missile testing and development of a long-range missile uh, program, which can also become a delivery system later on. And you have their regional behavior, including support for some terrorist groups. And these are things where uh, there is still a great deal of concern about Iran. And so having options to push back on those, whether it might be reimposing sanctions, for instance, not on the nuclear issue, but on, say, the missile issue or a terrorism issue. Right, but having the national security advisor come out as he did uh, in the White House and then having President Trump speak about it today, it looks like it's being set up as a unilateral issue, America versus Iran, as opposed to a multilateral issue, the right. P5 plus Germany against Iran. Wouldn't that be more useful to have well, this, this as a multilateral approach? Well, of course. It, it, the more countries that we would have in support of the same position, the better. Uh, what you're seeing here with this, and I think with a lot of things over the past 11 days, has been the administration setting out its own position, which is new, different from the previous administration's position, and not having in place the confirmed uh, people in the cabinet agencies, uh, down the line in the cabinet agencies, the deputy secretaries, undersecretaries, to be, to be able to create a process where they can then do some of that multilateral work, some of the communications work, some of the staffing work to make sure you get it right the first time, some of the communications and the narrative. We're just seeing an administration first getting its feet on the ground. You were a, an ambassador to NATO. I'm sure you still talk to many of your former colleagues in NATO countries, how concerned, and I'm picking up here on Marsha Blackburn's mm -hmm. point about consistency, how, because what I'm hearing actually is that people are concerned because they don't know what this administration is they, going they to do. They don't know what. What I hear from NATO allies is a concern about some kind of grand bargain with Russia over their heads that sells the out their interests. That's the overriding issue. That's the overriding issue. And frankly, you haven't seen that. Uh, there has been a, an open body language toward Russia, saying we want to get along, we don't want to be in a conflict. Uh, but there hasn't been a reaching into the bag and figuring out what we can offer to Russia to appease them. That's not been happening. It's much more just a change in the tone to see how Russia reacts to that. Well, if you what we've seen so far the, is a pickup of violence in Ukraine. Well, right? yeah, but if you remember, you know, every president, whether it's uh, George H.W. Bush or President Obama, Clinton before that, they've all started with some kind of reset with Russia. And partly thinking that it was their predecessor's fault, in part, that they didn't handle things right, and now the new president thinks he can, and ending up realizing that actually it's not the predecessor, it's Russian behavior, and that has then adjusted U.S. Do policy over time. you think that's the conclusion time. that this administration will come well, to I, as well? I, it depends on Russian behavior, because if we are actually able to get Russia to withdraw from Ukraine, uh, if we're able to get them to stop fomenting new conflicts in Europe and to actually work together on some issues like ISIS, then that would be a change, and so that would be progress. But my view, I know I've been around the Russians a long time, I just don't expect it. Okay, Kurt Volker, thanks very much for coming in. Thank you.